Have you ever wondered if someone made an exact copy of you? Same thoughts, memories, even the way you talk. Would it still be you? Okay, what if they already did and you just haven't noticed yet? You might not be the first you. Right now, your body is replacing itself. Most of your skin cells are just a few weeks old. Your red blood cells, maybe three to four months. Your bones, they take longer, but even they get swapped out over time. In fact, about 98% of the atoms in your body are replaced every year. So the physical you that existed five years ago is gone, like a sandcastle rebuilt, grain by grain. But you didn't die. You feel continuous, you feel like you. So, if your entire body changes but you remain yourself, what actually are you? This brings us to an old philosophical puzzle, the ship of Theseus. If a ship has all of its planks replaced one by one, is it still the same ship? And what if you use those original planks to build another ship? Which one is the real one? You are the ship, and maybe you're both ships. You might say, I'm me because I remember being me. Fair, but here's the problem. Your memory lies to you, constantly. Every time you recall a memory, you change it, slightly. Like opening a Word doc, editing a few words, and saving it again. Over time, even your most vivid memories can become fiction. Studies show that people can be convinced they experience things that never happened. So if memory defines you, and memory can be altered, can you still trust that the person you remember being was really you? Let's go deeper. At the atomic level, your body is like a crowded airport. Atoms come in, atoms leave, constantly. You inhale oxygen atoms that were once in a tree in the Amazon. You exhale carbon atoms that might end up in someone else's lungs in Tokyo. You are not a sealed container. You're a process. You're a pattern of matter moving through space and time. Still not weird enough? Let's talk about the brain. In some medical cases, people have had their brain split down the middle surgically severing the two hemispheres. And guess what? They start acting like they're two different people. In one body, one hand buttons the shirt, the other hand unbuttons it. One side of the brain sees a picture and reacts, while the other side has no idea why. So are they one person or two? How many yous can fit in one skull? Now imagine this, you step into a teleporter. It scans you atom by atom and reconstructs you somewhere else. But to do that, it destroys the original. Are you still you? Or did you just die and get copied? Now replace teleporter with sleep? You go unconscious and wake up as someone who thinks they're you. Is there really any difference? Let's recap. Your body, replaced. Your memories, unreliable. Your thoughts, ever-changing. Your atoms, borrowed. So what are you? A story, a simulation? A trick your brain plays on itself? Maybe you are a pattern. Not a person, not a thing, just a process that believes it's a person. But here's the thing. If every version of you felt like you, then maybe this version is just as real as any other. Maybe there never was a first you, only the you right now. And if that's true, then who's watching this video? And how many yous have there already been? I don't know, but one of you should probably hit subscribe.